Hey kids. So ever since the Raid Raptor 10 minute testing dropped and ever since my uh, first combo guide went up, I got a lot of questions about how I can potentially reduce the cost of the deck. Because even outside of the obvious SPN thrust, uh, a lot of these cards are getting bought out. I mean, Trivialanius was a $9 OTS common for like a day before every copy on TCG Player got taken down. Strangolanius is $30 in Brazil. Uh, it's really hard to find some of these cards in different regions. So uh, here I am to show to you the hyper budget version of Raid Raptor. This is, this is pinched basically every penny I can think of. I am willing to shave. Um, so we're not on Thrust, we're not on SP, we're not on Strangolanius, we're not on Soul Shave Force anymore. We're only on one Arsenal Falcon. It's just a lot of money being saved here. Uh, and the grand total, according to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Dex, uh, Deck Builder, is $90. And, you know, that's not cheap, uh, but relatively it is. It's saving $200. Uh, so you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's fine. I like it. I'm with it. Uh, but, you know... Uh, it's, it, it, I'm sure it could go cheaper if you change the non-engine, adjust to your collection, you know, if you already own some of these cards, but from scratch, this exact 70 card list, it's like 90 bucks. Um, and there's a lot of wiggle room in this build as well. Um, the third Simorg, the second Raider's Wing, Singing Lanius, those could all be changed. Uh, your third rank up magic could be something other than Revolution Force. Uh, the extra deck, I'm on a third copy of a uh, Rise of Rebellion Falcon. You don't need this. You can play uh, literally anything else. Um, the reason why this is here will be explained in just a moment when I talk about the rank up magic selection, but uh, just it's very funny, and if anyone ever manages to, to do it, I'll give them a gold star uh, for good job. Anyways, um, in general, this is still competent. Uh, it's not optimized for competitive play, uh, but it's probably fine enough for a local unless you're in like a really competitive area i guess um but what is neat about this is the only thing that's really been adjusted the only thing that's really been sacrificed to get the price down is just the quality of extenders the mainline combo hasn't changed the deck is still just as consistent but now you just don't have strangle ladius and your follow-up is slightly weaker uh, for example, let's, let's talk about the rank up magics. Uh, obviously, Soul Shave Force is gone. So, you know, our, our ability to play through Nibiru is a bit worse. But more importantly, you might be noticing where's Skip Force? Where's rank up magic Skip Force? Isn't that card super important? Isn't that card everything for modern Raid Raptor? Well, yes, but there is another rank up magic that can fill its niche. And that is rank up magic Astral Force, which does functionally does the same thing by ranking Brace Trace into Arsenal Falcon. You miss out on the graveyard effect, but consider the following. An ultimate rare Astral Force costs less than a rare copy of Skip Force. So, I mean, if you need to save money and you're looking to pinch pennies wherever you can, this is a great substitution. Um, for Soul Shave Force's replacement, I went with Revolution Force. Um, Revolution Force, it was between this and uh, Raid Force, which is the same thing, but a but a normal spell, and it can add rank up magics back from grave to hand. Uh, but what pushed Revolution Force over the edge for me was that it was a quick play, so now I had two search targets for Tribulanius' second effect, but also it has a very, very funny um, uh, interaction where uh, it can, during your opponent's turn, target an Xyz monster your opponent controls with no Xyz material, steal it, then rank it up into a Raid Raptor one rank higher. Now, you might think to yourself, well, we're in a link format. We're, everybody's playing fire. What, what exceeds are they ending one that's, that's got an advantageous rank that's, uh, got, that's got no material consistently? And the answer is, uh, Typhon is a rank 12 and, uh, we have a rank 13. Um, we can, we can steal Typhon and make the third rising rebel. That's why I'm on three. That's why I'm on three. I really want to resolve it. it. It'll never happen, but I really want to. Oh, I really want to. Uh, also, Rank Up Magic Revolution Force has a lot of utility as a way to beat Ghost Ogre. Uh, people are in Ghost Ogre. I think that's going to change soon. I don't I don't think Ghost Ogre is going to stick around in this format. But 
if someone tries to ghost over your Raiders Knight, you can chain Revolution Force to rank it up into Brave Strix, and now they basically just hand looped, you know, right? Uh, or hand looped themselves for one, and now you don't have to worry about an Imperm or a Ghost Ogre. Um, rather, uh, it's it's got a lot of utility. This is definitely my uh, third rank up of choice if you don't have access to Thrust. Um, without the suite of Triple Tactics cards, we can play. Uh, nine hand traps and the three main deck cosmic which is really nice if you want to you can swap these cosmics for uh, more hand traps if you'd like uh, 12 hand traps is a pretty good lineup especially with roost drawing your cards uh, but yeah your end boards don't get worse your end boards uh, stay about the same in power level your setup is about as consistent you're just missing out on a on a level of individual card quality that strangle provides and that these uh, rank up magics give you uh, and to demonstrate that you know you this build is still fully functional it is still capable of at the very least taking down like you know uh, it's still very much capable of doing the line of doing the the same things that pure does uh with max budget uh here are a couple games so for our first game our opponent is on orcist and they have drawn uh three three hand traps they've drawn three hand traps they've drawn three hand traps and we've drawn both fuzzy laniuses because we're cracked anyway we're going to start off with bloom vulture and use its effect to summon itself and tribute lanius then go for tribute trying to send mimicry and that's going to eat an ash blossom they're trying to keep us off of the uh imperm safe line i would imagine anyway we'll fire four strix and they're going to imperm that uh praying that i don't have two extenders i guess well we have a name and we have and we haven't uh normal summon yet so we'll go for raider's knight Rank up into Brave Strix. Brave Strix up into uh, Arsenal through Astral Force instead. Uh, by the way, uh, Astral Force has a graveyard effect similar to uh, Skip Force. The only difference is that Astral Force's graveyard effect uh, sucks balls. Anyway, Arsenal for Noir. Noir, target itself to add Heal Eagle. Heal Eagle to summon itself. Now we're going to link off into Wise Strix. Chain block the Wise Strix. And uh, stop me if you've seen this part before. So I mimicry, trigger the wise tricks, set rise rank up, and our opponent's going to scoop. Uh, because realistically speaking, this bell isn't going to do anything. We're still making it to two towers. And we've got the cosmic cycling for the orchestrated battle. We are winning this game, almost guaranteed, and this bell isn't doing a single thing to stop us. So our opponent's going to scoop with a harp horror and a wand in hand. So I've shown you how the setup can still be pretty damn powerful. Uh, and pretty good at playing through interaction. Here's how it does against someone going second, dedicated to going second. It's Numeron. Uh, we don't see these very often, but, you know, it shows that the deck's end board is it's still the same. Anyway, we are going to lead with Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius, activate the effect. That's going to Mill Mimicry, and then we're going to special summon Fuzzy Lanius and go for Force Strix. We'll activate Force Strix, and our opponent's going to Ghost Ogre it. Okay, no big deal. We haven't used Bloom Vulture yet. Fuzzy grabs Fuzzy, and then Mimicry is going to search for Roost. We'll activate Bloom Vulture to summon itself and Raider's Wing, then I'll activate Roost and go for Raider's Knight. Trigger the Roost, go grab Barrage, and then go for Raider's Knight to grab a copy, uh, summon Brave Strix, and Brave Strix grabs a copy of Astral Force. Astral Force ranks up into a copy of Arsenal, and Arsenal is going to detach to summon Noir. Now Noir is going to target itself and search for a copy of Heal Eagle, which will then summon itself and link off with the Arsenal for Wise Strix chain block like before but because we already have mimicry rotation and used we'll go for raider's wing why strix sets revolution because we already have the rise rank up then we'll go for four strix to search a copy of singing uh rise rank up magic is going to summon the 13 and the 13 is going to then copy four strix we're going to activate the effect yet again to go grab a simorg special summon singing special uh extra normal summon rather the simorg go for another four strix four strix effect is going to search for tribute and then we'll go ahead and activate the heal eagle and walk face first into ghost bell no big deal, we'll activate Roost to put back our extra deck and the Heal Eagle, set two cards and pass turn, burning for a thousand in the end phase. Our opponent is going to top deck a Nib, classic, then activate Numeron Network and go for the effect. I'm going to let it through because I want them to go to the battle phase before they commit to anything else. When they attack with their first monster, I'll fire Glorious Bright to negate the Numeron Network, and because they can't detach, they're going to just make Sunya in main phase two and banish the full field, except for our towers. They'll set Exiled Force, take a thousand in the end phase, and, I mean, we basically win. Barrage is going to add Mimicry back to hand, and then in draw phase, Mimicry is going to get attributed to this power to search for a copy of Fuzzy, and we'll top deck an Imperm. 
little special summon Bloom Vulture and Tribute Lanius, then activate Tribute Lanius to Foolish the Heal Eagle, which will now add back a copy of Rise Rank Up Magic. Raid Raptor Roost is going to put back our extra deck and draw a card. Then we'll go for Force Strix and Force Strix to search yet again. We'll activate Ultimate Falcon, detaching to uh, turn off any cards or effects, and then go for yet another Rank 13, destroying their entire field. And with they can't activate Nib, so they're they're dead. Now I recognize those were games against coughing babies. Look, sometimes you just need to get a video out, and no one on EDO Pro is playing a good deck. I'm sorry, but. What is important is that it showcased that, yes, you can still play these cards if you're on a very tight budget. You can still play with all the same starters and all the same end board pieces if you had all the money in the world or if you were basically just playing with commons. It doesn't really matter that much, although I will admit Strangle Ladius being not in the deck means that uh, it does feel pretty awkward trying to play around SP Little Knight by getting Raider's Wing under your Force Strix before you end your turn, uh, but, you know, it's it's fine. These are the sacrifices that you have to make if you're in an area where you can't get Strangle Lagos. Uh, do I recommend this deck at any level higher than, like, a local? Not really. If you're going to be entering an event where people are playing to win, you should be doing the same too. But there are a few things here that any budget players can learn from to, you know, adjust the Raid Raptor deck to fit their needs as a player. Uh, Revolution Force may be pretty fringe in terms of that second effect, but the first effect does have a legitimate niche. It's able to beat Ghost Ogre on your Raider's Knight pretty easily, and believe it or not, Stranger Falcon is better than Revolution Falcon at killing people. It's an incredible card because if it gets destroyed, it floats right back into, like, say, a Force Strix that was used to summon it or Raider's Knight or whatever you need, and then you can just keep popping off. It's incredibly good at forcing out interaction and playing through interaction. However, because Soul Shave Force is more advantageous for the, for the full budget build, it just didn't have a home. If you play Revolution Force as your third rank up Magic, Stranger Falcon is an incredible card, and... That's awesome. This deck is able to be tailored to all sorts of budgets and price ranges, and that's sick. I, I really hope that this video helped understand how you can build Raid Raptor without spending a fortune on the deck. I say a fortune, it's like 300 bucks, which is honestly pretty cheap for this meta, but I hate that I can say that in the first place. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for you today.